Ciao ragazzi, un saluto di Inter Worldwide. Anthony here with a brand new segment called Inter Transfer Daily. We are going to look at bringing you something almost every single day from the January Mercato, whether it's from myself, from Bruno, Raphael, even Samir might get involved as well. <laughs> ragazzi. Not the most exciting debut for this show as we don't have too much to bring you, but we've got three headlines that are topping our list today. The first one... Not something that we really wanted to see. Ashley Young, 33-year-old um, right back, left back, sporadic left winger, right winger of Manchester United is out of contract at the end of this season. And it's said that we are looking to bring in some fresh blood for free via our new transfer CEO, Beppe Marotta. So if he sees this as a, you know, a productive move or something that will be practical for us, you know, I don't think we're going to argue too much, but I don't really think that this is necessarily the names that we want to be linked to. We already have enough liability on the wing-back position with Dalbert, Di Ambrosio, the inconsistent Vashaliko, and also the inconsistent Asamoa. I don't really see why bringing in a player of Ashley Young's experience is that beneficial to us. So it's a big no from me and most here at Inter Worldwide. Second story we cover today is the potential return of Mateo Kovacic from Real Madrid. Now, just keep in mind, he's at loan at Chelsea, but due to some financial restraints, or I'm not too sure what's going on there, um, Chelsea look like they won't be redeeming him at all, and that could create a bit of an issue for Real Madrid as well, who are looking to generate funds. If that's the case, a potential return to Inter could be on the cards as there are no other clubs linked to him, but we'll leave that one for you guys to decide. It's all out in the open at the moment. That one was being reported about 24 hours ago and still has some substance now. A report that has a little bit more substance, however, is the departure of our centre-back, Jao Miranda. Uh, Jao Miranda, who arrived from Atletico Madrid just before the 2014-15 season, I think it was. You can quote me on that. I'm pretty sure that was the one. Um, has been a fantastic defender for us. I personally would like to see him stay for another six months, but due to his playtime being completely compacted by Stefan de Vrij, it doesn't look like he's going to be sticking around much longer. Now, in terms of where he's going, Galatasaray and Turkey have been heavily linked with him, but I think it's more likely that he returns to a club in Brazil, most notably Santos or Palmeiras are looking for him as well. Guys, that's all we're going to bring you from Inter Transfer Daily today. Have a look in the description below for all the links to our social platforms, and we will keep you up to date by the day on all the Mercato news. Hopefully, it's a little bit more interesting than what we had for you today. All right, guys, as always, forza Inter, ciao.